let's solve a pretty quick and easy problem here. Uh, we're looking for the present value of a series of $3,250 payments made every month for three years in an account with a 6% APR compounded monthly. Let's write our givens here. We know the present value. Uh, we need to find the present value of a series of payments. So a series of payments means we're going to use this factor A. Our series includes uh, payments of 3250 per month. Uh, we're going to make those payments for three years. So our N is going to be equal to three years, which is equal to 36 months. And our APR, our interest rate, is 6% uh, APR, uh, which we're going to need to divide by 12, which is equal to 0 0.5 percent, so half a percent. What we're looking for here is a final value or, or present value, P. Okay, so we can see from this that what we're going to, what we need to know is P, and we're given A, I, and N. That helps us find the factor that we need to use in this analysis. All right, let's draw the cash flow diagram here. Uh, we have a lot of payments coming in, so let's break this here. And we're looking for P, some present value. And we're going to make a series of regular payments to this account over the course of 36 months. So that we're going to start in time zero. That's what we're going to convert these, this series of payments back to. Uh, we start in month one and two. Uh, we're going to go to 35 and month 36. Remember, the point of view here is uh, the investor, and our A is equal to our A is equal to 3,250 a month. Now, what we we'll, we have to deal with here is we've got this interest rate of a half a percent per month. That means we can't use the factor tables, so we're going to have to use the formula. So let's set up the formula. We need to find P. We're given A. Now this P slash A formula is actually quite cumbersome, but we're going to have to use it. Uh, we have 1 plus I to the N minus 1 divided by the interest rate I times 1 plus i to the n. Let's add those values in and solve. So our a is $3,250 multiplied by 1 plus our half a percent, which is 0 point, uh, 0.06. We'll just put over 12. Um, we're going to raise this to the 36. We're going to subtract 1. It's required by the formula. We have 0 0.06 over 12 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12 raised to the 36. Right? And we're going to solve for P. And P in this case is equal to $106,000 or 106,831. Um, what that tells us here is that the present value of $3,250 payments for three years, uh, every month for three years, and then with an interest rate of 6% compounded monthly, is going to give us a present value in that account of $106,000. And that, that makes sense. Okay? And remember, we can't use the factor table in this one because we're dealing with a half a percent per month.